Well, good evening and thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Courtney Guzman. I'm Delon Dillard. It is a murder that stumped police for years, but tonight a suspect is indicted for the murder of a Cleveland Clinic wor worker. Now, police say the murder of Sheila Wallace at McGowan Park was a random act of violence. News finds Tracy Carlos has followed the story for more than four years now, and tonight she has a story of her relieved family and community. Four years, four months. That's how long Katie Wallace has been hoping and praying for an arrest in her mother's murder case. My brother called me and told me, and I just started crying. Like, I was just like, I couldn't believe that they actually got him. Katie's mom, Sheila Wallace, was walking her dog about 7 o'clock on January 17th, 2019 in McGowan Park. That's when she was shot and killed. Her little black and white dog stayed by her side. It was a completely unprovoked, senseless, violent homicide. Surveillance cameras captured the person responsible for killing the 58-year-old Cleveland Clinic worker. But until now, the murder remained a mystery. Completely random. Now a Cuyahoga County grand jury has indicted Dewan Evans with her murder. Right now, Evans is in jail serving time for an unrelated carjacking. Cuyahoga County Prosecutor Mike O'Malley told me three months after Wallace was murdered, there was an unrelated shooting near West 48th and Storer Avenue. A gun tossed from a car while running from police, and that gun would hold the key to unlocking this murder mystery. And it was picked up by a Good Samaritan who later turned it into the 2nd District. Uh, further testing on that weapon revealed that not only was it involved in the drive-by shooting, but it was also involved in the murder of Sheila Wallace. And through DNA evidence, O'Malley says it was linked to Evans. The arrest bringing relief to people in the neighborhood where Sheila Wallace was born, raised, lived, and loved. And when somebody like Sheila is lost in a community, it, it affects the whole community. Cleveland City Councilman Brian Casey represents that neighborhood. The healing has to start now, right? There's, you know, the weight of the, the, the weight of this tragedy has been lifted from the community um, because now the you know we know exactly who did it and there's not that fear of having to look over your shoulder. For Katie Wallace, she thinks about her mother every single day and why an 18-year-old would murder a mother, grandmother, and beloved member of the community. Not only did he destroy our lives, he destroyed his own life. I read he was 18 when he did it. 18, you're a baby at 18. Now Katie still prays, but for a different reason. And I'm not done praying. I'm still praying because I want him to get the maximum sentence that he can get. In Cleveland. God will punish that person. You know what I mean? Like that person's going to get theirs. I believe that 100%. Tracy Carlos, News 5.